What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. As you know, my name is Chad. Today we're going, well, let me show you the completion of the N1, the Nagama N1 buggy. There you go, that's what it looks like right here. Yeah, let's go. Thanks to BJ, and if not, I'll be wrenching all week just to get this car set up. So that's what it looks like right here. Okay, hold on. I will turn the camera around, and we'll try to do an overview on this thing. See what 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 we put on, you know how everything works and everything like that. Okay, give me a second. Okay, we're gonna do a. All right, welcome back. We're gonna do a top view first. That's what it looks like. Okay, we got the laid on shocks. You know, all the radio trays the same. Right here, fuel tank is the same. The difference is this portion right here. The arms, the can, the levers, which so I'll go down in a little bit, but the steering drives all the same as a 319. There you go. Now you see it better. Let me go back over again. So all this is the same. Right here, fuel tank, same. Hubs, same. Front and rear hubs. It only difference is, is the back end, the middle part, and the arms, of course. Okay, but that's the overview of it. Okay, let me let me bring it back down so you guys can see another view. Hey, let me bring it around forward. As you can tell, I'll do a little bit of a close-up. I did a cannon levers for the shocks. Let me maneuver the shock for you so you guys understand. Right there, you see how it works? Sorry. Okay. Both sides. See how that works like that. That don't change. The only thing is different is how you change your row center. And if you look all the way inside here, let me try to get if I can get it right there. Hopefully focusing it. Yeah, there you go. You see how you get these screws over here? Right. Uh, right there, those two screws. Well, that's how you can change your row center right there. You can flip that ball around or put those washers on the bottom, and that changes your row center. On the front and back side, so let me, let me get a let me get a wider. Let me go back to regular. Okay, the back end, same thing, right there. Right there you go. See the you see how the cell it's already already down. There's no wash on the top. Everything's on the bottom. You can see it. All right, um, you can be able to see it. I think it'll focus in on that. Hold on, I can't get it. Oh, here you go. Nah, I can't see it. But anyway, that's how it works on the bottom. Maybe you can see it now. Yeah, you see the washers underneath there? That's how you try to do roll center. Um, you put the back in on. Okay, the back's different. Plus, it's, it acts as like a guard, so nobody bangs me from behind. And ruins my day. Right here, the counter levers right here for the shocks, the shock shafts. Okay, both of them got the counter levers on each side. This is where the shock shaft goes up. These mount on the, actually the diff, the diff frames. Okay, everything goes like this. You see my pills? Just for the justice to that. You see how it pulls on the outside. Right there, on each one. And that's about it, guys. You know, we're going to try to bring this out Sunday. I'll get some videos on it. See how it runs. I mean, can't blame the driver. You know, but I'll try to do the best job I can. I hope I make this thing proud. But uh, that's the that's the N1. That's the N1 for this time. So, here we go. Let's put the you buy it back on. Okay, well, anyway, guys. That's the N1, the overview of the N1. Um, I hope you guys liked it. And give leave a comment and... Or a like on the bottom or see what tell me what I could do better. But nothing like I said, nothing really changed except for the middle portion and the arms. The chassis, well, and then there's no kick up plate on here. Okay, you see how the back end? The back end is they don't kick up anymore. So it's just flat now. Okay. Yeah, we went uh went 45. 45 on all the way around. We tried 45. Because BJ said, well. Thanks to BJ, let me just thank him for one thing for him 
building this car for me. I didn't have time. And we're trying to get it done before um before we start racing, before we start racing on Sunday. So I uh, thank you to him. Mahalo my brother. Um two is that well that's pretty much it. I mean I can't think of nothing else for this for this car. But it's pretty original. Everything runs smooth. But yeah, I hope I do this car justice and hopefully I do. Hopefully we can at least have a good showing. So but anyway, thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for race content on Sunday. Alright, I'll try to get all as much as I can. I'll get somebody to film for us. So you guys can get I know you guys enjoy that race content. So that's where the most of my views coming from. So thanks for watching guys. Appreciate all you guys. Aloha. And hope to see you guys at the track on the next one. Shoot, stay.